We spoke with people here in Alabama moments after the verdict was read. Here's what they had to say. I mean, I, I trust uh, the, the jury process and the, the legal process, and so I um, think hopefully we can just yeah respect the uh, decision of the jury and trust in that process. And it's kind of where I'm at with it. I've been following it closely. And I think all he try, has tried to do from day one when he was in, in, in office before was to help America. And they had turned their, the Democrats have turned their back on him and have treated him awful. If he'd never tried to run for office, this never would have happened. I say, what's it, what it called when they overturn it? I say Trump for president. Hey folks, Dale Jackson here for Yellow Hammer Now. And yes, the big story is Donald Trump convicted on 34 counts in a totally legitimate court case. And it is time for Democrats to gloat. And who better to gloat about it uh, than our good friend Tabitha Eisner, the number two Democrat in the state of Alabama. Now let's take a look at some of her takes uh, from yesterday. Of course, she had some thoughts uh, on uh, the conviction of Donald Trump. Here's her official statement. Now, on the guilty verdict, not that anyone ever asked, uh, but she said Trump had every advantage uh, a defendant could ask for and was still found guilty. And the GOP of 30 years ago would never put a convicted fraudster at the top of their ticket. The Republican Party, as you've known it, is dead. Now, let's take these one by one here for a second. Now, Trump had every advantage a defendant could ask for. Yes, uh, th that's right. It, it took place in New York and it was politically motivated and, and no one else would be charged with any of this. But other than that, he had every advantage a defendant uh, could ask for in a politically motivated prosecution that wouldn't be brought against anybody else. Now, let's talk about that for a second. Remember Hillary Clinton? She paid for the Steele dossier and, and then said it was a legal expense and she did that in order to mislead Voters during an election. Uh, remember that? Hmm. Nobody decided to do anything about that, did they? No. Uh, Hillary Clinton continues uh, to walk free from that scam. And so uh, it looks like maybe there were some other things the defendant could ask for. Uh, like a president like Donald Trump who didn't want to pursue that with his Justice Department because he absolutely could have. Big mistake on his part. Uh, as for point two, the GOP of 30 years ago never would have done this. Remember, 30 years ago, the Democratic Party had Bill Clinton as president of the United States. Uh, a guy who broke multiple laws with his criminal wife continues uh, to do that kind of stuff to this day, and nothing ever came of it. So they actually did this 30 years ago, so maybe, maybe Donald Trump should run as a Democrat because they seem to be okay with it. But if you don't like that one, maybe we just look at Joe Biden right now. He's got classified document issues, he's got grifting issues, he's got an issue with China, Ukraine, uh, you name it, he's got those issues but he will never ever see the inside of a courtroom because damn Democrats got it good. But it, this isn't even, even her worst take of the day. Going back to what I said before about Alabama Democrats and their number two. She also has this take. Alabama is going to execute a man tonight. I hate knowing it's being done in my name. And I worry about the ADOC employees who will be having to carry it out. Taking a life, even when state-sanctioned, even as part of your job, is a traumatic experience. You see Tabitha Eisner, the number two uh, Alabama... You see Tabitha Eisner, the number two Alabama Democrat, is concerned about a man being put to death who beat an elderly couple to death with a hammer and a machete. She cares uh, about that individual. Well, at the same time, uh, talk about how great our criminal justice system is. It's quite amazing and telling uh, that this is who Democrats actually are and that they're willing to say this kind of stuff out loud. But here's another question. For if Donald Trump was going to be put to death for treason, would Tabitha Eisner write a post like this? She wouldn't. None of them would. They are deranged and Americans are starting to see that. Now, uh, I'll leave you with this and this is just the last part uh, on this whole Donald Trump situation. Uh, I think they wanted to hang the felony term on Donald Trump, and they've now done that. He's never going to see uh, a jail cell. Uh, this will be overturned on appeal, but they will run uh, with the idea that Donald Trump is a convicted felon, and, and they will use that to nibble on the margins 
uh, for people who are undecided and who will decide in the last month of an election. This will be an effective use of the criminal justice system to help them win an election. They know it. So as they tell you about how important it is to uphold the rule of law and all these other things, remember this. We just saw the prosecution of a political opponent of the president of the United States. All this talk about the rule of law and norms and all this other stuff is just garbage. They don't really believe it. It's all politics, and it is really, really bad for this country.